Hey guys, Andy Corbin here, West Kentucky Blue Collar Outdoors. Good to see you again. We're doing some duck hunting here in the last week of season here in Western Kentucky. And at BCO, we've got another great product review to show you from Higdon. Uh, Higdon, we're really high on here at BCO. Uh, you know we use a lot of Higdon products and swimmers and pulsators and decoys and things. And so uh, we've got some goose floaters, some Alpha Magnum foam filled goose floaters from Higdon. Uh, and we're gonna give you the good, bad, and the ugly to these Higdon uh, goose floaters. Now, everybody knows late season tricks, so everybody's trying to uh, get ducks maybe that have become decoy shy. And one of our tricks here at BCO is that we use some goose floaters. Uh, now, these goose floaters, uh, they're great for when you're trying to decoy uh, birds that have seen all the spreads, they've seen all the mojos, and so uh, geese in late season is just a great tip to be able to use in your decoy spread to try to help bring in those wary birds. Uh, and so we have used for season uh, these Alpha Magnums from Higdon, uh, and we're going to tell you that we really like them. Uh, we bought Foam Field because everybody has a group somebody in a group that actually shoots decoys and so uh, we actually bought the foam field this time uh, they're a little heavier uh, that may be a bad for you but they uh, really do look and feel good and now let me tell you the really great thing about these everybody has gone to the flock heads and, and you all know flock heads look better on geese uh, and ducks as well in in the drake department but uh, on the geese the flocking on these alpha magnums has been really really durable uh, we pull these things up in and out of a bag just like everybody else does. We don't try to baby them. We don't uh, sugarcoat them. We just go ahead and use them, pitch them, throw them back in the bag uh, the best we can. Uh, and so the heads on them have held up really, really well. The flocking, you're really going to like this because after a season, I can't tell anywhere at all in it at all. It's still plush. It still looks like velour, uh, and it still looks like uh, what you want to see from a shiny black uh, Canada goose head. Uh, now, we did talk about the weight on these. You don't want to be packing these very far. If you've got a boat or if you've got an ATV that you're going to be going into a place with, uh, this is definitely the, the decoy that you want to go with for weight-wise because they're really heavy. Uh, you want something lighter for a packable walking in, walking out. Uh, and so maybe that's a negative, maybe that's a positive. It just depends on how you hunt. Uh, but the one thing we've seen that's been a drawback to these, and it, it's kind of a, uh, what we've seen from the Higdon Pulsators and from the Battleship Swimmers, is the paint scheme looks really good to start with. Uh, but as you can see on here, if Hunter, if you can zoom in on this, uh, the, the paint is rubbing off already. And again, we put these in slotted bags. Uh, and so, I mean, we're not just abusing them. Now we use them. Uh, but we don't abuse them. We want to take care of our stuff. Uh, but you can see that the paint is already uh, coming off on those edges, on those corners. Now, looking at the paint job, uh, it, it's a really good looking paint scheme. Uh, it looks very realistic and, and the texture and everything on it looks really nice from the from the mold. Uh, but that is definitely something that Higdon might want to look at and you might want to think about. Um, now, we haven't uh, spent a lot of time with Dakotas or other brands. Uh, the Higdons we wanted to buy because of the foam field uh, and, of course, because of the Higdon name. And so uh, everything looks really good on these except for uh, that one little thing right there. Uh, and so, again, we've been really high on Higdon products, and we really do love that the flocked heads have stayed intact. And so uh, we're going to brag on Higdon with that, uh, but we would really like to see something on the paint scheme to keep those edges and things from, you know, one season's worth of wear looking like that. So uh, Higdon, uh, we like these. Uh, they're about $149 for four. Uh, it drops about five, ten dollars if you go without the foam field, uh, but about one hundred forty-nine dollars for four, and that's very comparable to any of the high-end uh, goose decoys that you're going to be purchasing. So, um, Higdon uh, goose floaters look really nice. Uh, you're going to like them in your spread. Casey says that she really likes them. Uh, she gives them four paws up, and so. Uh, we here at West Kentucky Blue Collar Outdoors really enjoy hearing from you. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, if you've got a friend, send them the link uh, on all of our social media. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Uh, we're on Twitter. And so we love hearing from you, love hearing your comments, and love how you in the field are using the products that we review here. Uh, God bless and have a great day.